A Gold Coast theme park hopes a new toy store will help bring tourists back. Visitor numbers have been down since four people were killed at Dreamworld last October. The Premier attended the opening but didn't front the media, a move criticised by the opposition. Fans of the Danish toy blocks camped out overnight to be the first through the doors. What's your favourite Lego? Uh, people are coming back here. We have to support our tourism industry. We have to support our workers in the tourism industry. The shop at Dreamworld was already under construction last year when four people were killed on a ride. A police investigation is still ongoing. The Gold Coast tourism in industry is confident that we will rebuild our numbers when it comes to our theme parks. The Premier made a quick exit after the opening. It's pretty easy to stand up and do the good things, you know, at the opening of a store or going to uh, someone else's hard work and claiming credit for it. But what you've got to do is turn up on the tough days and answer the tough questions. Those being... When is the Premier going to stand up and say when the election date will be? Come out and say when the election will be held. Anastasia Palaszczuk, give us a date. The government says the Premier isn't hiding. In the past week, she's faced the media five times. The tourism minister was there, they were at Dreamworld. Uh, it's entirely appropriate for the tourism minister to do the press conference. Meanwhile, the LNP has lost another colleague, with former MP Sam Cox defecting to One Nation. And this is all about Sam Cox's political interests, not about representing Queenslanders. If you can't govern your own party, then you can't govern Queensland. But Pauline Hanson's party has also now lost its third candidate since December. Peter Rogers, whose website claimed the death of a Syrian toddler on a Turkish beach was fabricated, has been sacked. One Nation is just another political party, and they're not even very good at that. Building the blocks for an election that could still be more than a year away. Casey Briggs, ABC News.